So unfortunately, I said I wasn't going to do it, and I do like a bit of a flip-flop. I've got to drill two more holes for this. I was hoping that uh, the first one on here would fit into the hole that's already there, but the hole that's already there is too far forward. So if we have two positions, it'll be fairly simple. It'll be, you can have it in that position, undo the bolts, slide it back, and then that one will lock in there. So I've done the trick that I did before where I've uh, tightened the bolts up and I'm hoping they leave an imprint on the shaft. I've had it heating up for a while to get rid of some of the rust. Look at the beautiful colours. Sweet! I've marked up any bits that I need for the wind turbine like sockets. I need 10, 13, 17, 19 and 24. So by marking them up I make it easier to tell. The B at the bottom means it goes in the big wrench. Simple, but... So yeah, I'm going to undo these and then see if we've got that imprint. Let's get some lights for the nose. Yeah, buddy! Don't know if you can see, that's half made an indentation on that one. But a bit better on that one. Don't know if you see the circle inside, the uh, two bits of a circle. So there's the new front hole there. And the rear hole, pardon my French, is there. So you've got two sets. One set which uses that one and that one, and the other set which uses that one and that one. The whole point of that being that it can either be locked in that position or that position. And if we want extra clearance, what we could do is we could have it in that position, then we could put the blades on the front, which should work. But if we have it like this, with the blades on the back, you can see how much closer that is to the front. A beautiful moment of unfilled sun. Look at that. Gorgeous. These are four of the bearing bolts off the other wind turbine, so I'm going to use these, two for the front bearing and two for the rear. Just wanted to mention, I don't know if I had, because I, I, we've used these collars, uh, now I can, if I want, when it gets moved over to its home I can take the uh, bearing assembly off so I'm not going to use those bolts for now uh, in case you have to take it off and if we do then I'll put the new bolts on when it's on the tower but it can this can come off and importantly this won't move uh, I'm just next job is to deal with this I decided to do this the proper way by drilling a hole which will go all the way through because you see there's a bit of a bit of leftover space there so I'm hoping that a big bolt will draw this closer and it'll be less space in there. There's more space down the bottom than there is the top so it's on a bit of an angle. So I put this one earlier on the top of this light and left it for half an hour and that's how it came out so I've done it with the one that's on the turbine. Still not enough to get it totally clear. Ah, oh, never mind. That was a lot more of a faff about than I would have liked. I'd started drilling, I drilled a hole through here and then the tail was further forward and I realised I was drilling into, uh, you can see that bar on the inside which strengthens it up, I was drilling into that. So in the end, this was the only place I had to go. But as you can see, it appear, it's brought it snug to the plate, which is what we wanted. It's not perfect, but it way better than it was before. And also worth noting, pretty much gravity alone wedges the tail in. So anyway, that's another job done, that's sweet. And the blades are done, and I wrapped them in uh, some Sainsbury's baggage to uh, make sure they don't get any oil on when we put them on there. Sweet. And there's the tail. <clears throat> Let's find that to-do list and I'm going to call it a wrap for today. So we painted the blades, we painted the blades, we created the bolt hole in the tail, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, might weld something inside that tail, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh, check homemade bolts well I've taken them out for now 
So I've started on that. Make longer bolts, that's about the same thing. Strut supports, waiting for the M10 bar, which should be here tomorrow. Paint frame, and um, whatever that is. Paint frame and tail, yeah. Well, I'm waiting for the paint. That should turn up tomorrow as well. And of course, the other important job that I was forgetting was drilling a, a secondary set of holes for this. So now we can have that in two positions there or up there. Sweet, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully sometime and get the paint sorted. Cheers.